Okay guys, welcome back. Um, today I am decluttering my blush collection. These are all my blushes. This is not a blush. Um, these over here are bronzers, but... Hold on. So I have all these to declutter. I've got multiple brands, multiple shades. Um, so let's just dig in and move it. We'll go, we'll go right to left this time instead of left to right. So let's start with these. These are the Becca blushes. I've got both formulas here, I believe. I have this one, which is a mineral blush in the shade Flower Child. I have this one, which is another, this one's a luminous blush in Fox Glove. Um, this one is a luminous blush in Camellia. Camellia, I'm not sure how you say it. Camellia, Camellia. And then I have this one, which I think is broken. <laughs> and is in the, yeah, it's in the shade Wild Honey, which is a mineral blush. So two minerals and two luminous. Um, so here, let me, that's a, okay. That's a little bit easier to see. Um, so for me, here's the thing. I really love Fox Gloves, so I know I'm gonna keep that. I. This is one of my most used blushes. It's pretty worn down on the top here. It's a little hard to see, but it's gotten a lot of use out of it, so I'll keep that one. I really don't get that much use out of this one, which is Foxglove, but I find it to be such a unique color for me for a blush. It's like this magenta sort of shade, and I really love it. And I really want to keep... I'm only going to keep one of the Luminous, so there's Camellia and that one... Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep Foxglove and I'm going to get rid of Camellia. Camellia? Camellia? I don't know how you say it. Um, and then there's this one, Wild Honey, which I'm broken about because I really do like this color. It's a really pretty bronze color, especially for spring and summer. It just kind of gives a nice glow, but on me, you know, I'm going to start a maybe pile and I'm going to keep it under the camera and I'll come back at the end because if I don't have another blush in here that's kind of like that color... I will keep this. So we'll wait a minute. I have this one from Ciate, which I just got and I've only recently tried out and I really like it. Actually, this one's in the shade Summer Love and I'm actually planning to grab some more colors. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Hourglass blushes. I have one, I just don't know where it is in this stack right now, but I do have one of those and I think that this is just such a beautiful, like shimmery peach kind of color and I think it's gorgeous. So I'm going to keep it. I have this one from Studio Makeup, which I got in my FabFitFun box, I believe. Actually, wait, it might have been my BoxyCharm. I can't remember. And I tried it once, and you know what? Loose powder blushes are just not my style, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, I have this one from Studio Makeup, which I've used once. I'm not the biggest fan of it. The color does remind me a bit of the Wild Honey, but it's a little bit pinker. Um, and I know I have other under other foundations, other blushes in similar shade that I just prefer more. So I'm going to get rid of this because I know one of these in here, Matt, is this color, but a better formula. Sorry, studio makeup. You're just getting cut down. I have two of these, which are the Fiona Styles Soft Cheek Veils. This one's in the shade Valley. And this one is in the shade Maiden Lane. So, here's the thing. Fiona Styles, if you watched my first video of these, Fiona Styles has since been discontinued at Ulta. Um, so I'll probably be holding on to both of these just because I really like the formula, but I, again, will probably not be using these on camera since this has been discontinued. Next, I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes, and I'm gonna get rid of both. I have this one in the shade 10, which is Buff. And I have this one in the shade Mauve. These were the light shades of these. And these these are not pigmented enough. It takes forever to build them up to where I like them. Like, I've got powder all over these from the two times I've tried to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Next, I have this from Japanesque. This is the soft no, Velvet Touch Blush in the shade 02, which I really like as a nice nude. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I have this Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the shade Princess Daiquiris. This, on me, I just don't think the color looks quite right, so I am going to go ahead and get rid of that. 
need a better place to put those. And then I have this, which I only recently got, and I've I've swatched it, but I haven't actually put it on my cheek yet. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the shade Light, I believe. Yeah, it just says light. I'm assuming RS means rose. Um, I think I saw the Taylor raving about this. I'm not quite sure, and she loved it, so I bought it, but I haven't really had a chance to use it on my face yet, so I'm going to keep it and try it out and then make up my mind. Okay. I have this guy from Too Faced. This is the brand new Peach My Cheeks. This one's in the shade of Peach Dream, which I remember correctly is pinky. Yeah, it's a pinky color. I haven't used this yet, so I'm going to keep it and try it out and let you guys know how I feel about it. But yeah, I don't know. Cream blushes, I'm, I do love cream blushes. I really love the Maybelline Bouncy Blushies. Um, I don't have any of those anymore, but... You know, I'm, I'm hoping that this will be similar to that a little bit, so we'll see. Let's do... Oh, I have a mini blush. This is a mini Becca blush. I'm an idiot. This one's in the shade Flower Child. That's the one I kept, right? I kept Flower Child. Yes, I did. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this for the purpose of being able to travel with it because Becca blushes break so easily. Becca products in general, as wonderful as they are, they do break really easily. I also have this guy. This is the IBY Beauty blush in the shade Peach Sheen. I've never even used this. I think, I think I swatched it. I just, I, I don't reach for it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, Let's just grab this guy because he's the only one and I know I'm keeping him. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, correct? Yes, Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Mood Exposure. I love this. It's like a pretty pale plummy color. Gorgeous for fair skin and medium skin and I'm definitely keeping it. Let's just keep going through. Now let's just go ahead and tackle these. I was kind of putting them off because there's so many. These are little Lorac blushes. This one's in the shade of Prism. This is going to be a lot of blushes. Technicolor. Aura. Oops. Spectra. Cinematic. I'm missing one. Where's Tinge? Wherever Tinge is, I am keeping it. That is my favorite of the Lorac blushes. I was gonna say, I thought I had six. Um, it's probably in a makeup bag somewhere. I'm not sure where, um, but I will be keeping that since it's my favorite. Um, out of these guys, I'm definitely gonna get rid of this one in the shade Cinematic. It's just a little too dark for my skin tone. Um, I am gonna keep both Prism and I'm gonna keep this one in the shade Spectra. Between these two, I think I'm gonna keep this one, which is Tech Aura, and I'm gonna get rid of Technicolor. Just because I have some other blushes in here that I know I like that are similar to this shade. It's pretty good, getting rid of two. Okay, cutting them in half. I have these guys, which are brand new, so I will most likely not be getting rid of these. This one, these are the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten. This one's in the shade Pink Buttercream. This one is in Honeysuckle. And this one is in Sunswept. And I do really like the formula of these and I've got them in darkening order. So I am gonna keep all three of these. Um, these are gorgeous, they are pretty. I will get rid of the little travel size one I've got up here. This one's in the shade Tropic Hues. Um, I just, this color on me doesn't look quite right. So I am gonna get rid of that shade but I will keep these three, mostly because they are brand new. Next, I have two of the Soap and Glory blushes. I'm keeping both because I love them both. I have Peach Party, which is gorgeous, and I also have Love at First Blush, which I like as well. I'm onto these. This NARS blush I am keeping. I have it in the shade Deep Throat. I think it's a gorgeous pale pink, great for fair skin. Keeping this. I like this better than Orgasm because it's not as sparkly. I have two of these. These are the Balm In Stain blushes. This one's in the shade Argyle. And this one is in the shade Houndstooth. I really want to keep them both. I know I've used them both. These are ridiculously pigmented blushes, like hardcore pigmented. Um, they're very beautiful though, so for now I'm going to hold on to both. And then I have this. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Pool Party. I'm just going to return this. I just don't reach for it. If I'm gonna reach for a palette with multiple blushes in it, I'm gonna go for something like one of my Tarte blush palettes that I have from the past holiday collections and such over this. And these colors just end up not being the best for me. I could really only wear this one here. 
This was just too neon and this is just too dark. So maybe I might switch it and try and get a different shade. I don't know, but this is gonna go away. Let's do this guy. This is the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Plum Rose. I know not to get the natural color one because I knew it was too dark, but too light, but this one still doesn't show up enough and it just doesn't blend enough on my skin. Like this does not show up. Look at that. Can you even see that right here? No, this is going away. Just didn't work for me. Um, I have two of these. These are the Too Faced um, Sweetheart, no, Love Flush blushes in the shade Your Love is King and Baby Love. Um, I think these are new and I haven't even used them, so I'm going to hold on to them. I think I got them in the spring, during the spring 21 Days of Beauty sale. I think I've used the peach one, but I haven't used the purple yet. I was saving it for fall, so we'll see. I have four of the Milani Baked Blushes. Now, I have the shade Rosa Romantica, and I'm gonna have to say this in Italian because you, you can't not say them in Italian. Rosa Romantica, which is a gorgeous, like, highlight almost on me. It's, it's like a peachy shimmer. It's not really a blush, it's more like a highlight. There is the infamous Luminoso, which I will be keeping. I do love Luminoso, especially for me in the spring and summer. I have Rose d'Oro, Golden Rose, which is a really pretty, like, I just picked up only the bronze color, I'm a dum dum, um, which is this, like, really pretty rose with a bit of gold in it. And then I also have Dolce Pink. Um, I had some more colors in the past, but I got rid of them over the years. I think for now I will keep all three of these just because these three blushes are completely different colors. And like I said, this on me reads as more of a highlight than a blush. So I think for now I will keep all four. But if I were to get rid of one, it would probably be Rostoro. So actually I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and keep the other three. Um, let's do these. These are the ColourPop blushes. I have the shade, I wrote the names on the sides of these because the way I was storing them in a drawer was like, this so I could be able to read all the names. Same way with the eyeshadows. So they all have the names on top. I have the shade Thames, which is like a dark fuchsia. I have Trickery, which is kind of a peachy. I have Holiday, which is more pinky peachy. I have Prenup, which is like a mauvey color, which you can see I've obviously gotten some use out of. I have the shade Drop of a Hat, which is brand new, one of the newer shades. I have Cruel Intentions. And I have this one, which is more of a bronzer, actually. This is the shade Aphrodisiac. I will definitely be getting rid of this one, Drop of a Hat. It's just too dark and too golden on me. It just doesn't quite look right. Um, I will be keeping Prenup. It's a really beautiful mauve shade on me and I like it a lot. I'm also gonna keep Cruel Intentions just cause this was part of that 90s collection. I think the other blush that came out with this was Never Been Kissed. I don't know if they still sell them, um, but I really like them and they haven't dried out yet. So I'm gonna keep them till they do. Um, I am probably going to keep Holiday just cause I kinda like the flush that that peachy one gives me. These three. I kind of want to keep Thames just because it is such a pretty purple. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to keep Thames. Keeping Thames. I think I'm going to get rid of Holiday. Holiday's going to go in the maybe pile, and I'm going to get rid of Aphrodisiac because if it. Cream bronzers, yeah, I have a couple and I'm okay with them, but I don't reach for them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on this guy. I've only got three blushes so far in my maybe pile. That's a, that's a good sign since I'm almost done. I have this one from Too Faced, which I am going to keep. I did have the other two shades. This one is in the shade, I think it's Candy, no, Peach Beach. Um, I am gonna keep this one because I also have these, which are the Makeup Forever answer to these. So I have Peachy Pink Kisses. Can we, can we have a moment? Peachy Pink Kisses is definitely a lot more shimmery than this one, but they are pretty decent dupes for each other, so I am gonna keep both. 
And then I do also have this one from Makeup Revolution, which this one I am going to go ahead and pass. It's just too shimmery. This one is in the shade Peachy Keen Heart. This one I'm just going to go ahead and pass. And then I have these bad boys, which I can tell you right now I'm probably not getting rid of any of these because hands down, these are my all-time favorite blushes. I believe you can still buy all of these shades. I have the shade Nude Pop, which doesn't even look like a flower anymore. I have the shade Melon Pop, which is bright peach. I have Pink Honey Pop, which was released later than all the rest. I have Berry Pop, which is just such a pretty bright pink. I have Heather Pop, which is actually the first one I bought. And then I have Black Honey Pop which I really ended up loving a lot using a very light hand with it. So I am keeping all six of these just because I really, really love these. I have 37 that I'm keeping, 16 I'm getting rid of, and I have these three in limbo. I have Wild Honey, which I am now going to keep because I didn't keep the other, I didn't end up keeping the other blush that was kind of similar to this, so this will now stay. I really do love the formula of Becca blushes, though. Um, I am going to get rid of this Milani one. It just, more I'm thinking about it, he's just, he's going to find a new home. This ColourPop one, though, I am still torn on, but I think, I think for now I'll keep it. If the next time I get around to decluttering, I haven't used this, it'll be gone. Got rid of 17, and I kept 39. That's pretty good. Technically, it's 40 if you count the other mini Becca blush, but I'm not counting it. But that is it for this video. If you guys enjoy watching me declutter, please give me a thumbs up. If you have a blush in here that you've never... Let me rephrase that. That didn't come out right. Um, if you have a favorite blush that you didn't see in here, please tell me about it down below. I really do love getting to try new blushes, so I would love to hear your thoughts on some. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!